What does this ranch mean to you? Well, it's everything. Uh, heritage, business, income, sentimental value. We own it on paper, but I have no control over it. Um, the the car co cartel controls everything that happens here. They they let us stay here. That's basically that's pretty hardcore to say that. But uh, and we're not moving. But they control it. As we said, the Mexican drug cartels control northern Mexico. Now there's parts of America, as you just heard, that they control. That what you just heard was from John Ladd, an Arizona rancher, admitting. He has virtually no control over the land that's been in his family for four generations. He told News Nation's Ali Bradley that last week. It turns out he's not alone. The cartels run more land across the southern border on both sides of the border than we thought. Ali Bradley live along the border in Texas with a preview of her exclusive reporting that will be happening throughout the night, pre uh, also on Cuomo. Hi, Ali. Yeah, hi, Leland. We, it's no secret at this point that the Mexican cartel just continues to gain ground in Mexico, as you just mentioned. And also right here in our backyard, we're seeing it happen all across the southern border. You just heard John Ladd talk about it. And we went out and met up with some Texas ranchers as well who are telling me the cartel controls everyone and everything that crosses that border and subsequently ends up in their backyard. Now, these American citizens are saying they're being faced with the choice to either hunker down and hide hide inside of their homes, turn off their lights, lock the doors. Whenever these undocumented individuals cross onto their property, that's what they're hearing from law enforcement. They either have that choice or they can stand their ground and possibly end up in jail. I used to hesitate on thinking about that. I don't anymore because if they do come up or toward me, I will shoot. I don't want to. I don't want to kill anybody, but if they come toward me, if it's me or them, I'm shooting. Leland, it was really shocking to talk to these two women, both Debbie Douglas and Lisa Connolly, who you'll hear from later tonight, both describe their situations as being prisoners in their own home. Can you even imagine that? No. I mean, I, I, I spent a lot of time with terrorist organizations in the Middle East, I, like the Baltimore riots, like some of the other riots during 2020. You never thought that experiences overseas uh, would be happening to Americans in America. Uh, this is one of many of them. Ali's uh, reporting is tonight on Cuomo. Uh, Ali, thank you very much. Story you will only see on News Nation: ranchers versus the cartels. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.